Hey guys, so this is going to be a quick tutorial showing you how I do my masking transition. This has also been called frame blocking, but it's basically when you have a transition that something blocks the frame and it blends seamlessly into the next frame. I've done this in a few of my vlogs in the past and I'll show you right now what that looks like. So as you can see, as these are blending together, it pretty much allows you to manipulate the footage in a way that you haven't been able to in the past. All you have to do is have a footage that has something in the frame that's blocking it. As you can see, my friend is serving a volleyball and a pole is in the way of the volleyball. So what I'm going to do is go to the start of where that pole enters the screen and then drag your clip that you're transitioning to on top of that layer. So what I'm going to do is change the opacity to 50% so I have something to work with. Drag our video out a little bit more and change this fit size to about 25% depending on how much space we need. So now that we're at the end of our transition where the pole is out of the way, we're going to create a mask. And under the opacity tab, you can either create your own or you can use a rectangular or you can use a circular mask. I like creating my own since it's uh, completely custom, but you can pretty much click and drag anywhere where you want. Change the mask feather to about 50. Click this mask path keyframe. And then what we're going to do is start scrolling backwards. And as we see, our pole is right there. So we're going to click the mask key and drag this to the beginning of the pool and then we're going to drag this one to the bottom of the pool and we're just going to keep going through here until we get to the edge pretty much follow this exactly all the way through it's super simple awesome so let's uh scrub through and see what that looks like uh we can just scrub through like this i'm noticing that it's, it's blocking a little bit into the pool a little bit too much so you can just simply manipulate that as you go along and even a little bit too much down here as we're going through it looks like that and i need a little bit more on the end so i'm gonna drag that up and just like that and voila so if we change our opacity back to 100 percent uh, we have this transition right here he shoots the volleyball it blends seamlessly into the next clip as always if you guys like the video hit that thumbs up and subscribe because i'm going to be making some more stuff in the future